Welcome to the Quip Corner. Thanks again for joining me. Yes, I know it's just been a couple of days since we saw when we're celebrating International Day of Happiness. Today, I'll be talking about something that should make you happy and make others happy too. So see you in a bit. appreciate the fact that you kept watching. In the Quip Corner, we'll be talking about something that, like I said earlier, should make you happy and make others happy when it makes you happy. Do you remember being encouraged to share as a child? Sometimes you have a child around you who is maybe eating a cookie or something and you're like give me some won't you share it's good to share we say to people that sharing is a virtue growing up i remember a coinage i don't know where that came from but a coinage between my siblings and within my cousins because i come from a large and close family and that coinage was, there's joy in sharing. And that was a phrase that we used very quickly when we wanted to share out of something another person had. So say somebody was eating a meal that you wanted a part of, you'd go to them and dance around and say to them, there's joy in sharing. Soon enough, I won't say I got tired of sharing, but maybe I did. And as I got older and definitely wiser, I came up with my own coinage. So when somebody said to me, there's joy in sharing, I'd say to them, and there's peace in eating alone. Yes, laugh if you want, but I guess that was the best I knew at that time. But let's look at today's quip because it definitely puts a different spin on things. Quip 42 says, you can share without caring, but you can't care without sharing. So like I was saying, growing up, it was easy to give somebody a part of my meal or whatever without really caring. But when you care for someone, you will share. You won't need to be cajoled. You won't need to be patronized. You won't need to be mandated to share. I think about different things that we have available to share. In fact, I remember what one of my dearest friends did for me, what he shared with me years and years and years ago. I call him Annie Boy. So when he watches this video, he'll know I'm talking about him. Quick shout out, Annie Boy, I thank you very much for being a true friend who not just cared, but shared. So a few decades ago, we were both looking for our next jobs. And he came across some information that was helpful to him, but because he cared, he shared it with me. That's a classic example of caring and sharing. You may be someone who's looking for a job and you know someone else who's looking for a similar or even the same job. Getting the information about that job is not something you'll keep to yourself. It's something you'll share with them. Because the truth is, if you truly care, you want what is best for them. You want what will make them happy. Not necessarily at your detriment, but go figure. Wouldn't you be happier that one of you 
got the job versus neither of you. Caring and sharing is a virtue. Another dimension of sharing when you care is sharing your time with those you care for. Some people are always looking for that perfect presence, say for their spouse or their children or for a friend. And sometimes, especially with children and with our spouses, and sometimes with friends, the only present they want from you is your presence. So, if you truly, truly care, share your time with them. Do share. Care and show how much you care by sharing. Thank you again for joining me in the Quip Corner. I hope you got a nugget or two from that. And please, don't go saying to your siblings or your cousins that there is peace in eating alone. Even though there is peace in eating alone, it's always nice to share. Another thing that will be nice to do is care enough to share this video with your family and friends. And please encourage them to also subscribe. Did you notice the word also? Yeah, I'm assuming that you've already subscribed. Well, if you haven't, you can subscribe now. And click the bell. You'll get notified each time there's a new video. Until we meet in the Quip Corner again, do take care of yourself. Please keep caring and keep sharing. Bye now.